Artificial intelligence is now disrupting one of the biggest headaches in healthcare, paperwork. Medical notes take doctors and nurses hours every day and cut into time with patients, as we've all experienced. The National Bureau of Economic Research estimates that using AI for administrative tasks could save the health system two to three hundred billion dollars a year in this country. Our Bertha Coombs has this story for today's Tech Check, Bertha. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, you know, when you go to the doctors, you know that usually they spend a lot of time looking at their computer screens, typing into your electronic health record. But what we don't notice is that most of them end up finishing those notes and maybe send us notes back later at home. It's, it's so common. It is called pajama time by doctors. Microsoft's Nuance unit has an AI app that they hope could put pajama time to bed. You don't look like you feel good today. Dr. Tashella Johnson-Foy starts patient visits by pulling out her phone. It listens in on our visit so that I can pay more attention to you. Are you comfortable with me using it? Using Nuance's DAX app has freed Foy from typing when she's seeing patients. The AI program writes her patient summaries for her, which has freed her from... Pajama time, which is should be the time where you're getting ready to wind down and go to bed. We're usually still charting and noting and doing things that are going to enhance the life of the patient, but not necessarily our own quality of life. At Baptist Health in Jacksonville, harnessing generative AI programs to help doctors and nurses fight burnout is a top priority. There's new economies of scale and economies that healthcare will be able to get into leveraging AI because you simply, like because you eliminate all the administrative redundancy and bureaucracy overhead, and you allow folks to work top of license. Using AI to reduce administrative tasks could help hospitals cut total costs by 5 to 11 percent in the next five years, according to a National Bureau of Economic Research study. For physician groups, up to 8 percent, and for health insurers, 7 to 10 percent, though the upfront investment isn't cheap. If it costs me X, but I just made my patients a whole lot happier and my physicians a whole lot more productive, well, there's an answer right there by itself. But about that productivity, Dr. Foy says it shouldn't mean more work. Pajama time is now reserved for time with her family. This is about the doctor having a quality of life that they deserve because we're people too. So the newest version of the app, Dax Express, using OpenAI, writes up the notes instantaneously. Microsoft is working with Epic, which is the nation's largest electronic health record firm, on being able to take those notes and really leverage them in the EHR. Kelly, one of the things that they're working to do is to be able to write notes back to patients to do that. But, you know, they're not the only one who are trying to tackle this oh, sure. issue. No, hopefully everybody is, because from the patient experience, this can't move fast enough. I mean, it's amazing we're in a system that the patients don't like, that the doctors don't like, and yet here we are. How quick do you think the prospects are for a dramatically different experience? Well, it's one of those things that I talked to one doctor at Stanford and she said, this is like we've gotten the iPhone one. And she thinks this is going to move a lot faster than it has been to get from the iPhone one to the iPhone 15. But again, it's not just Microsoft. If you take a look at some of the others who are trying to get in on this market, Amazon Web Services actually has a, a health scribe. Also, Google Health has uh, MedPalm. And don't forget that Oracle bought the health records firm Cerner, and they have some projects with this as which well. Which also underscores what we've heard from analysts, which is a lot of this AI kind of revolution could benefit the big incumbents as opposed to these new startups. There are a lot of startups that are working with different companies and working at different points, but certainly you've got these big incumbents who have seen the writing on the wall and they've acquired a lot of totally. these companies. And they have the install base already. They exactly. can just fire it up. Bertha, thank you. Our Bertha Coombs.